Hey, hey everyone, well, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your very first time ever meeting me, welcome. We are super, super glad to have you all wigs off. Let's chat it up a little bit about fragrances that can transition from summer to fall. I'm not gonna share all of my fragrances that can transition from hot to cooler weather, but we're gonna talk about a few of them that I'm interested in trying out in a little bit cooler weather this year. Some of them I've yet to wear. If you're interested in finding out what fragrances I'm coming on to share today, please continue to watch. All right, so let's get into it. Um, let's start off first by kind of uh, me introducing myself a little bit more formally so that you will know who I am. I am Color Me Bad Lynn, at least that is the name that I go by over here on YouTube, um, as well as a little bit over on Instagram. Mainly we talk about hashtag all things beauty. Uh, just to give you a little bit of a brief scenario about who I am. I am a beauty professional, um, just to name a few things uh, that I'm into. We will talk about love, relationships, romance, a little bit about dating, family issues, and faith, most importantly. Um, I love, as you can see, to chat it up about fragrances. I'm a more of a nostalgic, old school fragrance lover and collector. Um, I do have a lot of newer fragrances that are in my collection as well. But mainly, I come on and talk about the fragrances that are older that I discover, that I discover with, for great prices, dupes that I find, and things of that nature. So every now and then, I'll come on and share a fragrance that's like super, super, super new. Uh, but for the most part, I talk about fragrances that I find great deals on and that are extremely affordable and smell absolutely amazing. All right, all right. So, let's, so, get into let's get into it. Um, I did bring my glasses with me, so I'll be able to read to you the fragrances that I'm sharing with you. Um, but we're not going to get deep into the notes. I'm just going to tell you what I think about this fragrance, these fragrances that I'm sharing with you guys today. And again, these fragrances aren't in any particular order, no particular price range. These are just fragrances, and some of them are fragrances I haven't worn yet or I've played around with a little bit, but I really haven't dressed them up, so to speak. So let's get started the first fragrance that i want to share with you guys that i am extremely extremely impressed with that i absolutely love this is a fragrance from the um middle eastern house of alhambra um this is called rose petals this is an eau de parfum fragrance i'll bring it in close so you guys can see the packaging on that um bottle i've got a couple of fragrances from this particular house um, I believe this is a dupe for Tom Ford's Rose Creek. They hit this one dead on y'all. And what I'm, I'm going to share something with you. You know I love Tom Ford fragrances. But this lasts longer on me. Um, although Rose Creek does last a really, really long time. Um, I've shared on many, many occasions that I am on a lifelong journey to find the most beautiful rose and rose and oud fragrances. This is a love at first sniff for me. Absolutely gorgeous, extremely aromatic. It is sexy, it is romantic. It is everything that you want in a fragrance when you purchase it, you know. There is an investment. So when you buy a perfume, you know, you want it to smell good on you. It becomes a part of who you are. Everything you have smells just like your fragrance, especially if you have one that you favor and cater towards more than others that are in your collection or if you're just a person that doesn't wear a whole whole lot of fragrances and you just have that one or two that are just your go-to's on a daily basis this could easily be an everyday fragrance like with this when i wear this i i take it easy i wore this one time it's got a little bit of a creaminess a little bit of a milkiness to it that most really rich um, and greatly formulated rose fragrances have in them. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I don't know, you know, the thought process behind it, I know for sure it is a duplicate uh, for Rose Prick by Tom Ford. They did an excellent job on this. I'm one of those kind of people that don't care whether a fragrance is a dupe or not, what came first, and all of that type of thing. This is a really great, extremely affordable fragrance. And I'm really, really excited to play around with this transitioning from the 
hotter weather into your cooler months because I love wearing fragrances like this and cooler weather. They work a lot better for me in that type of weather. Um, I did wear this um, on a day where it was a little bit cooler, a little bit rainier, and I knew that I would be in a well air conditioned environment uh, so that, you know, my fragrance wouldn't go bad. Because, you know, when you pop a sweat sometimes, it can go past certain fragrances. It depends on, you know, your BO and things of that nature. So this is excellent. And this is definitely something that I will repurchase if I ever were to run out of this one. I'll be right back on Amazon.com getting me another bottle. Get you some. Okay, moving right along. Just in case you can hear my music in the background. I'm learning how to uh, mute out the music in the background. Uh, but if you can hear it, um, it is a group called The Whispers. And I'll make sure that I share like one a photograph of one of their album covers um, at the end of the video so that you can see who they are just in case you're not familiar with their music okay all right so next up on the list again i'm in no i'm going in no particular order i'm going to put my glasses on for this so i make sure i read this information properly on the bottle um i'm super excited i ended up getting this particular collection sent to me and i got all of the scents to this particular line and i love it when a when a good plan comes together because I, you know, if you like something and you're into something, and I ended up liking all of these scents, you want everything that comes with it. And this one is called Opulent Oud by Latifa. Um, it is comes in a black bottle. Um, I also got a blue. There's one that comes in like a really pretty blue, red, and white. And lately, I've been playing around with the red and the white bottles. You can kind of see them right behind me here. I've been playing around with them. When I tell you all they're gorgeous, I'm gonna one day come on and do like a detailed uh, description on those for you guys. This is so good. Um, I'm gonna tell you something. If you don't like the smell of oud, you're not gonna like this. This is really, really rich. It's really, really dark. It's sensuous. Um, it's very, very exotic. This could definitely be unisex. As a matter of fact, I think this one, and there's another one that actually is unisex. But if you like those beast mode mama girl type of fragrances or daddy boy type of colognes, this is absolutely gorgeous. If you and your significant other or fragrance and cologne snobs, you might want to grab two bottles of this if you both like oud. You may want to start off with one bottle just to make sure that you like it and then just go in for it. This is so good. This is really rich. I love a good oud fragrance. Um, it smells like it's got a little bit of a candied note to it. Um, again, I didn't pull the notes for these fragrances and colognes today because I didn't think it was necessary. And let me bring the bottle in a little bit closer so you guys can see that. I'm, I apologize for that. Look at the gorgeous detail of that. Don't you just love that? I also love beautiful bottles. We're going to do a pretty girl bottle. Uh, we're going to do a pretty bottle video one day. But I love the beautiful decoration. Um, I love the detail. I love the feel of it. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, definitely when I um, set, do my fall and winter bedding, I'm going to style all of my dark bottled fragrances together to kind of go along with my decor and display them and get rid of all of this and all that. But And this will be one of the bottles. This is such a gorgeous bottle. Um, I don't wear this a whole, whole lot. I haven't had it for a very long time. But when I say this is a gorgeous and sexy oud fragrance, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is beautiful. It is You can layer this with things, anything with rose, um, any other oud fragrance that you may have. Really good with things that have the note of fig or caviar in them. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, very, very beautiful transitional fragrance. And again, I wear heavy fragrances like that in the summertime. So that is perfect for me and transitioning from the heat into cooler months. All right, so next up on the list, and again, these aren't, any, in, aren't in any particular order. I'm just picking them up and chatting it up about them. I had a little bit of time on my hands and I said, let me get on here and talk about some of these transitional fragrances. Um, you know, this is a time of year um, that I really cherish. Um, I'll just share a little bit about my story. This time of year reminds me of like the last season that I was actually able to actively spend with my mother. And I don't know if you guys have heard the entire story about uh, me and 
um, how I ended up uh, moving back into her home, becoming her caregiver and all of that. Um, but it was not a beautiful situation. Not at all. But God made beauty out of that situation. It is definitely a testimony that at, when the right time comes, I will share it uh, with others. But what I remember most about this time of year is that this was the most active um, time of year that we last spent with each other where we were talking, laughing, and having a really, really good time with each other and just enjoying each other's, <laughs> in each other's company. And so I really enjoyed this season. My favorite season, of course, is summer. I'm a summer girl. But I also enjoy and love fall. The changing of the leaves. I get real emotional and sentimental during the fall because it reminds me of that time. It's a really romantic time. I love the smell of pumpkin spice lattes and cinnamon notes and, and things like that. So clove cardamom you all know what i'm talking about we like to keep it spicy <laughs> so let's do this this one is really really nice um i love uh fragrances from clinique um and i enjoy this fragrance so much and i've always loved and respected the fragrance aromatics okay and so when I again started back getting into my fragrances and kind of going through what I had, you know, when we were all at home during the pandemic, you got time to dust things off and be like, oh, I forgot I had this, that, and the other, whatever. And upon that, you know, during that time, I discovered two fragrances that Clinique has that are on the low, low and secret on the sneak tip. And they are flankers of the original aromatics. One is in black and one is in white. When I tell y'all these fragrances are beautiful and I'm real, real, I use them very lightly. I tread very lightly. Like I very seldom use these fragrances. They smell that darn good. This one is aromatics in black. I'm gonna show you the bottle. So you can kind of see, I don't know what that is on my bottle. I don't like that. I can't get it off. So it may be on the inside of the bottle because you know that's painted, the painted lacquer. If you can kind of see the name, Aromatics in Black. And then my other favorite one is Aromatics in White. If you're wondering who makes this, it is Clinique. Hopefully you can see that, okay, which is a makeup company, skincare company. The girls that wear the white lab jackets in the, in the perfume department. All right, so. This is so good. And if you didn't know, Clinique is on, I believe it's still owned by Estee Lauder as well. This is so good. They also used to own uh, Prescriptos, if you guys remember that cosmetic company. This is so good to me. So it's a really, really beautiful, heavily white floral noted fragrance. But it turns into something really gorgeous on me. Um, it kind of reminds me of the note or scent of black licorice or licorice, depending on where you're from. Okay. And that's what this reminds me of. Black jelly beans, black licorice or licorice. I say licorice. But anyhow, it's really sensuous. It's really light, but it has a lot of power to it. And it's so gorgeous really really unique when you wear this somebody is going to ask you what you have on and nine times out of ten it'll be a gentleman this is the type of fragrance that a man will compliment you on um, this is what I call and in my opinion this is a man eater fragrance <laughs> if you ladies know what I'm talking about this is a man eater fragrance it is so gorgeous really sexy really sensuous it does those peekable peak whips on you so it'll disappear on you and you go nose blind to this fragrance and like you will have it on three four hours and it'll pop up out of nowhere and give you such a beautiful scent you'll probably forget you have this on if you wear it by itself just go on and on and on about and this but it's so gorgeous you guys so if you don't have this one in your collection and it's got a little bit of the dna of the original aromatics but if i did like a probably it would take me a minute to figure out that this is a flanker it's got a little bit of a lactonic note to it but not too much it's got a little bit of a powdery finish 
but not too much not an old lady smell this is so sexy to me it's absolutely gorgeous so if you like the smell of a beautiful deep white floral kind of like hyacinth a little bit of um i think iris is in this it's got a, a little bit of a to me it's got a little bit of rose in it i could be totally totally wrong on that because like i said i'm not looking at the notes but this is so sexy so if you're looking for something really really nice and extremely affordable i recommend adding aromatics and black by clinique um to your fragrance collection you all right moving disappoint. right along one of my faves that i'll talk quite a bit about or i haven't talked about in a while i'm not for sure but i still got a little bit of juice left in this one and i love this fragrance along by the fireplace but this is my fragrance y'all this is jazz club by replica this is one of my absolute favorite fragrances in the entire wide world it's got a beautiful beautiful rich note of tobacco in it uh, the tobacco leaf in this is absolutely gorgeous i don't know if that is the note in this fragrance that makes it so beautiful but it is absolutely gorgeous um this is actually a male fragrance it's made by mason margella uh don't ask me how i ended up with this in my collection i did not purchase this for someone and they acted bad and i decided to keep it no that's not the case i smell this one uh sniff test and fell in love with the notes it is so gorgeous absolutely delicious and i'm not the only female that wears this fragrance that don't come for me it is out absolutely gorgeous do you hear me i mean i don't know what is just so perfect it is so sexy it's so sensuous um i haven't worn this fragrance that much but you can see how much juice is missing because i go crazy when i wear this this is what the bottle looks like hopefully you can kind of see that okay the bomb do you hear me between this one by the fireplace and bubble bath i don't know but this is my absolute favorite replica so far you know they keep coming out with like i like lazy sunday that's a good one but this one right here will always stand the test of time for me it's just pretty y'all get you some if you don't already i'm not have sure it. why i still hear teenager laughing out loud at this time of night like i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it at all okay next on the list velvet rose this one is a little type of fragrance i don't know what this is on my you know sometimes my babies my grandbabies are over and they you know i don't know what this is on here it looks like probably like some kind of lotion or oil or something they got on there but I haven't worn this one, so I'm not sure how they got on there. But I'm going to bring the box in closer anyway, so you can kind of see how that comes, because it's absolutely gorgeous. And don't worry, I will be getting that off of that. I don't know what that... It feels like lotion. That's the only thing it could be. This is how it sits in the little jacket. I'm going to take this out, so you can see the beautiful presentation of that. Velvet Rose by Latafa. Again, I am on a lifelong journey for the most beautiful rose and oud fragrances. This bottle is super, super heavy. I love a weighted bottle. It just makes me feel like I got something. Um, I love the way this is made. I'm going to spray a little bit of this on. As you can see, I haven't worn this at all. Uh, let me spray myself just a little bit. good it kind of reminds me of rose prick it really does it has a similar note look at the doorknob top you guys they're gorgeous love this like i said i love pretty bottles this is so pretty love it first to new i mean it's so silky it's smooth um it's not an irritating nagging type of cloying fragrance it is perfect for this type of weather like our weather was kind of well today we had a really cool mild breezy day um but normally it's hot during the day and then at night it kind of cools off you know we're transitioning from summertime to fall and this is the perfect fragrance for this time of year 
It's so pretty. It's rosy. It's a little bit sweet. It's sexy. It's sneaky. It's sophisticated. What I mean by sneaky um, is it's really great quality. Like it's a really great quality. This fragrance smells like it's at least a hundred something dollars, at least. And this is way under a hundred bucks. Absolutely gorgeous. Like you really want to dress nice when you have this on. Definitely an all black dress. Definitely, you know, you got a fresh cut, hair pulled back in a bun, you know, a cute little wig with a cute little hat on. You know, however you rock your style. Cute little updo, little buns, little twisties, you know, sister locks, however you go. This is so pretty, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I may have to wear this one day this week. This is so, so pretty. Again, this one is Velvet Rose by La Tapa. Now this fragrance here um, is a fragrance that I very rarely like wear by itself. But I like wearing this fragrance as a layering component. I do. Um, this is a nice perfume. I don't have, well it's a nice little amount left in there it is. I haven't worn it in a while, but this is one of those ones that I spray heavily when I wear this um, and I layer with this. I use this as like a layering component. This Cloud, Cloud 2.0, fragrances like that, I kind of layer with these and wear these, you know, maybe on top of something. Um, but it's something about this fragrance. When I first got it, it was like, okay, it's okay. But I wore this one night, I sprayed it down after a really nice shower, long day, and I was like, let me spray a little bit of this on and really find out how well it works. There's something really unique about this fragrance that I really appreciate. It's a celebrity frag, uh, Billie Eilish. I wasn't even familiar with her music that much, um, but I wanted this bottle, you know, and uh, really, really enjoyed this fragrance. And so, yeah, it's something really, really different about this fragrance. It's not an everyday go-to for me, um, but I really, really like this. It is beautiful in cooler weather. Um, I really like to wear this if I wear it by itself as a bedtime fragrance. Uh, something really, really light, um, nice, warm, and cozy. I love wearing this with fragrances that have a little bit of like a cinnamon to them really nice with oud fragrances i just sprayed it on top of um that's oud by latafa fragrance and it'll kind of soften it up and give it a nice little sexiness to it um but it won't change the fragrance it's really really nice yep billy ellis it's just playing right now it's called lost and turned out if you never heard that song look it up it's by the whispers it's called lost and turned out all right, so two more fragrances I'm going to share today, and then we're going to have to wrap this thing going up and maybe do a part two. I always say that and never do a part two or three, right? All right, so the next one, this fragrance and bottle I will always cherish. Um, this is from the supermodel Iman. It's called Love Memoir. Let me bring it in. I absolutely love this. I do. Um, I love the story behind this, um, how she tells the story of her love romance of how she met her husband, the late David Bowie, um, and that's what this fragrance is, uh, uh, the reason why she created this fragrance is uh, all of the scents that he loved on her. It's how she came up with this really clean, beautiful amber fragrance. This is gorgeous, you guys. Um, if you don't have this, this one came in a gift set when I got this a few years back when it first came out. And it came with a purse size spray, body lotion, and it came with this one. And I used that body spray like somebody was crazy. The, the little purse spray. And normally I don't use my purse size sprays. I just have them and sit them somewhere. But I use that purse size spray. Um, this is really a beautiful fragrance. Um, very nice when you're dressing up. You can wear jeans and a t-shirt and a nice pair of tennis shoes and smell good with this one on. No particular occasion. It's for all occasions. Perfect transition fragrance for from summertime to fall. Let me bring it in a little bit closer again so you can see. And this one is Love Memoir by Iman. Absolutely 
gorgeous. I love this All right, one. so last on the list today um, is something that's really, really like one of my special fragrances. Um, and I don't really talk that much about the, my, my little Tom Ford collection. I don't have a huge Tom Ford collection, but I just love those fragrances. His fragrances, they smell really good on me, uh, and they smell really good on most people. <laughs> and I ain't even gonna front y'all. You know, they just, they're good. So this one is uh, black. What is this? Let me put my glasses on. Hold on, because I can't. It's black something. I don't know, let me see. Cause there's two of these. Black Orchid and something else. Black Elixir, something, I don't know. But this is the one that smells so good on me. This one is Black Orchid. And this is a 100 milliliter. Okay. This is so good, y'all. Like, this smells so good on me. And like, when I, you know, you can't tell me nothing when I spray this on. You can tell me something, but I ain't really listening. <laughs> Oh my God, be like, what you say? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You need a megaphone. Talk to me. Oh, it's so good. And this is a, oh, I don't know when this was launched, but this is not a new fragrance at all. But I love the bottle. I love the fragrance. Was it worth it? Well, when I got it, yep, it was worth it. This is such a gorgeous fragrance. You don't have to spray a lot of this when you wear this. I do. <laughs> but you don't. A little bit goes a long way. But like I said, I like to smell my fragrances. I like to, you know, spray my clothes. If I'm not wearing any white clothing um, or like silk or uh, clothing where you're going to see the stain of the fragrance you spray, I'm spraying it down. This is such a gorgeous fragrance. I wore this to bed one night. I wasn't feeling good. But, you know, I was just tired. And I was like, I feel like, you know, spraying myself. And I just was in there. I said, girl, come on, let's go. And when I tell you, this is such a beautiful fragrance. It's such a beautiful. And I think this is unisex, if I'm not mistaken. It's so gorgeous. It's just an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. Everything people say good about this fragrance, they're telling the truth. They're not lying. They're not just saying it just because of the name or just because of the price point. They're telling the truth. You pay for what you get sometimes. This is some good juice if you don't have this one in your collection and you just love a beautiful black tie event or you just like to just be cute sometimes with your fragrances or you got a cute little pair of pajamas or a nice little teddy or something you want to put on and feel real sexy and sensuous and you need you need a little spray and spray down and spray good on at night get you some all right y'all i gotta go i'm thirsty i've been talking a lot i need some water h2o we will see you on the next video if you like this video make sure you hit the like button if you haven't subscribed yet it's free go on and hit the subscription button if not tell a friend share the video We'll meet you over on Instagram. I think I made my page public, so just come on over there. And I did. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it like that, but I'm. It only take one bad apple to, to jump in your DMs and say something weird, and then I'll be Oop, back to private. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Thank you for watching.